States condemns in the strongest terms the unprecedented attack on the State of Israel by the Islamic Republic of Iran and its militant proxies and partners. Iran's intent was to cause significant damage and death in Israel. It launched over 300 munitions, including more than 100 ballistic missiles and land attack cruise missiles at Israel, as well as explosive unmanned aerial vehicles. Iran's reckless actions not only posed a threat to populations in Israel, but also to other UN member states in the region, including Jordan and Iraq. The Security Council has an obligation to not let Iran's actions go unanswered. Indeed, for far too long, Iran has flagrantly violated its international legal obligations, notably through the actions of its Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, or IRGC. By arming Hezbollah in violation of Security Council Resolution 1701, by arming, facilitating, and enabling Houthi attacks on Saudi Arabia and the UAE, and, more recently, merchant and commercial shipping in the Red Sea in clear violation of Resolution 2216 and in defiance of Resolution 2722. And, of course, Iran transferred Shahid one-way attack drones to Russia, the same drones it used in last night's attacks against Israel, at a time when such transfers were in clear violation of Resolution 2231. In recent years, Iran has also repeatedly violated international law by targeting with mines and seizing commercial ships in international waters of the Persian Gulf and surrounding waterways, just as it did on April 12, when it seized a Portuguese flagged ship near the Strait of Hormuz. Iran continues to detain both the ships and its crew comprised of citizens from five countries, including Russia. Iran was also, in a broad sense, complicit in the October 7 attack on Israel because it has provided significant funding and training for the military wing of Hamas.